Happy Wednesday, everybody. It is about quarter till five right now, and uh, it is a busy day. There's a lot going on, and so we've got a lot of stuff to track here. I want to just give you a breakdown of some of the big stories. Uh, first and foremost, the flooding that's happening up in Flagstaff, just north of Flagstaff, to be more specific. A 12-year-old girl swept away from these floods yesterday. She died. She was found dead. A horrible, horrible situation. And now, lots of cleanup going on. We've got crews in Flagstaff. We're going to talk with Steve Cooch, who's live up there, about what's going on, uh, what happens next. Uh, just horrible, horrible situation. And then on top of that, uh, last night, at about 9.30-ish, uh, uh, one of the dams over at Tempe Town Lake actually broke. So now water from the lake is leaking out into the Salt River bed. And uh, apparently there's no fix anywhere, at least in the near future. They're trying to get it fixed, but they're waiting for stuff to come in. So Jody's out there. She's going to be tracking that. She'll tell us what's going to happen with that, what they're going to do, and what, what does this mean? I mean, because water essentially, again, is just leaking out of the town lake right now. So we've got those stories. We're also following uh, SB 1070. Huge day for SB 1070 tomorrow because now the, the case of United States versus the state of Arizona, Arizona being sued by, by the government, uh, that goes to court tomorrow. So we'll see what happens. Uh, Governor Brewer officially filing some paperwork yesterday in regards to that. We'll tell you what that's all about. So again, just busy, busy morning. And uh, we'll be tracking all those stories for you. So hopefully you'll tune in from 5 until 7. We're always on at abc15.com. And uh, we hope to see you there.